I saw an interesting question on a Facebook Cubase page where someone wanted to take a long MIDI sequence of over 105 minutes, they said, and take the kick drums that are on beats one and three and set that to a fixed velocity, but take all the other kick drums that don't fall on beats one and three and randomize the velocity. And they're looking for an easy way to do this. And this is a perfect example of a task for the logical editor. So we want to select a MIDI event here. And we can see in my MIDI event, I have kick and snare, and they're all the same fixed velocity value. So I'm gonna go to my MIDI menu and open up the logical editor. And the logical editor is a conditional based editor. So we can choose to transform. And then what we want to do is set up a condition of events on the top here. And then we're gonna tell it what we want to do to those events on the bottom. So once you kind of play with this, it's it could be incredibly powerful. So let's take a look and again to fix the velocities on beats one and three to 120 and randomize other notes. So what I want to do is we're gonna just choose a value one of a MIDI note message. And we're gonna say that this is going to be equal to C1, which is where our kick drum is. And what we want to do at this point is we're going to choose to randomize the velocities of every note that is C1. So I'm going to click on the plus sign. And in a MIDI note message, value 1 will be pitch. Value 2 will be the velocity, the down velocity. And at this point, I want to set random values between, let's say, 50 and 100. So now what we're going to do is every note that is C1, the velocities will be randomized between 50 and 100. So I have these selected here so we get C. As we hit apply, all the velocities will be randomized. Now what we want to do next is to set beats 1 and 3 to a fixed value. So I want to, again, we're going to say our value one, we're going to choose notes that are set to C1. And then we're going to choose in our filter target position. And then we have a choice here of inside bar range. So at this point, I'm going to say we're going to put this around beat one. And we're going to do another position for beat three. So we'll choose inside bar range again. And we'll choose around beat three. And then we're going to set the Boolean condition here to OR. So now what it's going to do is we've defined it to look for kick drum notes around C1, around beat one, and beat three. And instead of random values for the velocity, we're going to set value two to fixed values. And I think in their original question, they wanted it to be fixed to a value of 120 beats a minute. And then we could just hit apply. And now you can see that every kick drum that's on beat one and three will have the velocity of 120 and the other notes will be randomized. So you can see instead of having to do this manually for 105 minutes of MIDI data, the logical editor can really speed up this workflow process. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.